today we are going to discuss the topic of subnetting so to start subnetting first a brief review about ip address an ip address is a 32 bit binary number assigned to different computers and that ip address has been divided into two parts one part represents the network and second part represents the hosts within that network and with respect to the number of bits being used in the network portion the ip address has been classified in class a class b and class c so you can see this classification on the basis of the bits being used for the network portion and they also have been uh, given some ranges with respect to these uh, bits now subnet subnet is basically subdivide network so how how we subdivide a network first of all we know that an ip address we have two portion one represents the network portion and second represents the host portion and with respect to this network portion the maximum number of networks which can be assigned an ip address is equal to 2 raised to power n so this depends on the number of bits there and maximum number of hosts is equal to 2 raised to power h minus 2 so in uh, the bits which are there in this part of the ip address they actually um, specify the number of hosts which can be assigned an ip address to and this minus 2 is is for uh, the network address and the broadcast address so these are the two addresses which we don't use for individual hosts within a network so this is minus 2 so definition in subnetting what we do to create more network within a network what we do we borrow some of the bits from this host portion and we use them to identify the subnets or we use them to create more subnets for example here this is an IP address this is a network portion of the IP address and this is the host portion of IP address and subnetting dictates or subnet subnetting guides us to borrow some of the bits from this host portion to be used for subnetting and remaining bits to be used for the host within that subnet and this the how many bits uh, we, we take from this host portion to represent the subnets this depends on the requirement for example if we require the subnet requires is x then we have to select the number of bits for the subnets in such a way that 2 raised to power s must always be greater than or equal to x and in the same way for h how many bits do we select there this depends on our requirement that how many hosts or how many computers within single subnet do we need if that number is y then we have to select this h in such a way that this 2 raised to power h minus 2 is greater than or equal to y now to 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 understand the, um, this with an example for example we have been given this ip address 172.16.0.0 so we know that this is the class b ip address and this with this ip address and with this mask we know that in this network portion we have 8 bits and this in this host portion we also have 8 bits so maximum number of networks with this class b ip address is 2 raised to power n so that will be 65536 and uh, the number of hosts that will be 2 raised to power h minus 2 so this is, will be the number so with this class b ip address class b ip address can have maximum number of networks that is given by this and maximum number of hosts within each network is given by this this formula now given this situation for instance as an organization you have been given a requirement that your organization wants to create 200 more sub networks and within each network you want to create 200 hosts how to fulfill that requirement so this is the job of the subnetting what we do in subnetting so we we borrow some of the bits from the host portion in this case in the, for this ip address these two bytes are for the network portion and these two bytes are for the host portion so to create subnets we will borrow some of the bits from this host portion and in this case 
what is our requirement? Our requirement is that we need 200, 200 subnames. So what value of s should be sufficient for us? So if we take s is equal to 2, then this will be 256 and that 256 will fulfill our requirement. So that will be greater than 200. And for this part of uh, uh, that uh, remaining 8 bits will be used for the host portion. So we are going to divide or we are going to take or uh, borrow some of the bits from the host portion. So we are borrowing these 8 bits for to be used for the subnets. So now the situation will be that these are the network portion of the bits and this is subnets and this is the host portion. And to convey this information we will take help from the subnet mask. So this was the subnet mask when we were not borrowing any bits from the host portion but then we are going to borrow some of the bits from the host portion. We have to convey this information to the machine and to convey this information we get help from the subnet mask. So this these bits will be changed to 1 to represent or to convey this information. So the new mask will be like this. Now these, these all bits up to third byte in IP address represent that these three bytes are going to represent the network portion and this remaining one byte is going to represent the host. Now after this, after borrowing these bits, we will have a new subnet mask and if you are if you're going to convert the same IP address and the mask into dotted decimal notation, then this will be again 172.16.00. But the difference will be here that 255 that is the conversion of these bits and this is going to show that now this byte is going to represent the subnets and by doing this, we are using these 8 bits to create more subnets. So this will be our new mask and the same can be written in CIDR notation that is classless interdomain uh, routing notation. We can use this IP address and slash 24. So this slash 24 represents the number of bits which are being used to identify the network. And this 24 is also called the prefix length. So with, with this what we have done, we have we have just we had a single network and we have divided that single network into multiple sub networks. And in this case we have created 256 sub networks within within a big network. So what what are those subnets? Now comes the ranges. So the very first subnet will be so this is 172.16.00. So as you remember this third byte is going to represent the subnet so this will be our Z, a subnet which will have 0 at this point and this will be another subnet so 1 and this will be third subnet so in this way we will have up to 256 so this will be 255 we will have from 0 to 255 different subnets and within each subnet we can change these host values so 0 will be the network address we discussed in our previous video and they will start from 1 to 254 so you see in this host range this 0 or these 3 bytes will remain same because they represent the network portion these 3 bytes will remain same they represent the network portion and remaining this host these host bits will change for each computer within that network and this 255 is the broadcast address because in this host portion if all are ones then we use them as a broadcast address and the second subnet will have this value of 172.16.1 so this one shows that now we are in this different subnet and this host range will start from 1 to 254 likewise this is 2 it means now this represents another subnet a new subnet and the host range will be from 2.1 and from 172.16.2.254 this will be third subnet so in this way we will have subnets from 0 to 255 and each subnet will have 256 IP addresses 
two of them will not be used they will be used for network and the broadcast address a remaining ips can be assigned to the host host and we call them the usable ip addresses and uh, likewise for each and every subnet we will have 256 hosts yes so this is the bigger network which we propose dividing